Hello everybody, it's Brooke with Refab, and I've never done anything like this. There's people who do this all the time. All kinds of glass projects. I personally have never done a glass project. So, this could be very interesting. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping it turns out really good. I, I, I think I'm doing it just very simply. I'm not doing all kinds of resin and all that. But I'm going to paint this like a... I'm just gonna do a very light white, like a uh, light wash on it, like a uh, white wash, sorry, light wash, I meant white wash. Do a white wash on it just to kind of tone it down a little bit and to where you can't see the pencil writing on it. Then I'm gonna take my little glass pieces and make uh, a tree. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I gotta be very careful not to cut myself, okay? So we're just gonna hot glue it on. That's how we're gonna do it today. I am not. Cindy with Art Shattered, who is amazing at this type of stuff. We're gonna see how this turns out with Brooke. So, got some white paint, folk art uh, from Walmart. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit. I mean, I'm not putting a lot, guys. Hold on, I don't have any out yet, but I'm just gonna kinda cat, just do a tiny bit, see? I put just a little bit of white right here. It's not that much. And then I'm gonna take, I actually have this paintbrush that I is old and like really don't work very good and this is gonna be perfect for um, this okay because I just want it to be rough so I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna brush this on here to give it a whitewash look okay so now it looks like this it's almost like a it's like a gray wash a little bit which is gonna be really fun listen like I said I've never done anything with this so I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna kind of I want the tree to fill up this whole thing pretty much. So I'm only gonna do the top part a little bit, like a little triangle of the tree. You know this is not gonna be some perfect tree. Y'all already know. So I'm just gonna start laying it down. Then I'm gonna, so basically what I'm gonna do is just so y'all know, um, I'm just gonna start gluing the glass on in the shape of a tree. You're gonna be able to see some of the bottom through this, I already know that. I will go back and add little pieces in when I'm done, okay? You're just gonna just keep doing this. I'm just telling you what to do like I know. <laughs> I literally have never done this and I'm doing it for the first time. So, but I will walk you through what I'm doing, okay? I think this is gonna be really cute though. I really truly do in the end. This is gonna be really pretty, y'all. I really think so. I'm being very careful with the glass. So just in case there's any children watching, uh, which adults too, be very careful with the glass, okay? Um, Cause it will cut you. Especially the small pieces. Those small pieces get you. And I'm trying to kinda, I'm sure you can see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna show you again. I'm kinda trying to go out a little bit with some of these pieces, okay? So you can see right here, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. And I'm gonna go back over it when we're done. So y'all just keep watching for the finished product because I really think it's gonna be really cool. I really, really think that. I've never done anything like this. I hope that those people who do these glass projects all the time and are so amazing are not watching because they're probably like, what is this cat doing? She don't have a clue. <laughs> And you would be right. But that's what's fun. You don't have to you don't have to know everything perfectly to just have fun and do cool things. The glass, I saw somebody say, where did the glass come from? It was a, a find at a junk store. I found an old Avon cologne bottle that was um, green and I just hit it with a hammer. <laughs> so many people use glass all the time and that's just something I've never really used. I don't know why but I think I've started something that I'm gonna wanna keep doing. I've, all, I've, I've told my friend Cindy, I keep mentioning her with Art Shattered because she does so many cool glass projects um, that I would love to like learn that, but I just never have. I'm just filling in the spots and I'm just coming down making the shape of a tree. That's what I'm doing right now. This project, I literally saw the green glass and I thought, you know what? Oh, I could turn that into a Christmas tree. For some reason, that's just what I thought. I don't know, I don't know why. I haven't seen anything that made me want to do that recently or anything, 
Uh, obviously, I'm not the first to do it, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a million projects if you start searching it. I didn't, I just saw it and wanted to do it because green made me think of Christmas trees. Cause I'm always thinking of Christmas. It's always on my mind. I'm gonna put a little dot right here and stick this little one in. Yes, perfect. I wanna show you what it's looking like so far, y'all, okay? We're not done, but this is not a hard project, but look what it's looking like so far, y'all. <laughs> Aren't y'all excited like I am? I mean, probably not, but I am. If you're like me, sometimes you get these ideas in your head that you're like, this is gonna be fabulous. I love this. You think you got this project, it's gonna be so cute. You're so excited about it. You're like, yes. Next thing you know, you do it, you're like, that was a fail. I can't tell y'all how many of those I've had. Y'all be embarrassed to know. That is the world of crafting projects, home stuff. Like that's just the way it is. So there's no shame. I'm just proud to see one come together. I'm just gonna fill in my, my, not all my dead space, but I'm gonna fill in a lot of it. Cause I really want it to stand out. I'm trying to be so careful with the glass, okay? Yeah, it was, it's been very quick. This was a very quick project, y'all. I mean, it just doesn't take long, honestly. I want, I, I should have got some of that amber, dang. That's what I might do. Next time I go back there, or, or if I find something amber, I might do that. If it's not, you know, anything that is expensive, obviously, this was out there under the elements, but look how cute that is, y'all. For real, I'm gonna put a tree topper. I'm trying to think, actually, as I'm talking. But wouldn't it be cute to use like little amber pieces as the um, trunk? That would be so dang cute. For the tree topper, because all I have is this green. I didn't go, I don't know, I didn't go all out and get all the other colors. But this piece is kind of cool. It would be kind of a cool topper. Oh, shoot. But I kind of think that would be cool. I don't know. But look, what if I put that at the top? Because it just kind of comes um kind of brings it all together and how it's kind of circular so i think i'm gonna do that at the top it's still green but i'm gonna start looking for some other colored glasses when i go back there because it's just basically free and of course you can find free glass all the time if you're careful but hey we're done i will add a trunk later but not right now but look at my little tree my little glass tree what do y'all think oh isn't that cute? I might go back and add a little bit to the top to make it stand out more on the topper and then may add some amber over here um, for the trunk. But for now, hope it inspired you and I'm just loving it. I think it is very, very cute and I think it's got awesome potential to sit in my Christmas collection and I will definitely be doing some more with some fun little glass things because this was way too much fun and now I see why Cindy loves art with glass. This was perfect. So thanks for watching. Be sure to share it with your friends and um, I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.